Hey my loves, good morning. Welcome back to another video. It's Saturday the 19th of August and we are off today to somewhere called Haberley Trail, something like that something like that in Kiddyminster with my mum and my auntie and her two little ones today well I say little ones they're not so little anymore um but the boys are really excited the weather is gorgeous I've just washed my hair and I'm putting a little bit of makeup on and I thought it'd be really nice to film this weekend um we're doing that today and then tomorrow we are going to a national trust with Jack and Tanisha for the day which will be really lovely um and yeah I just felt like vlogging this weekend Ash is staying here because he's got to fix my car. It's been broken for a really long time. When I went to, had a Juice Plus event. Where did I go? Reading. Oh, I feel like it was a couple of months ago now. Wasn't, was, maybe it was in July, maybe it was the start of July, I'm not sure. Anyway, it basically blew up on the way home. And I was really, really lucky to make it home because he said that it's a lot of work that's got to be done. So yeah. Um, that needs he's made a start i think it's something to do with a turbo something to do with the engine i don't really know but yeah he's staying here and he's gonna crack on with that so i thought i'd take the boys out of the way and my mom suggested this and it was perfect well i think my auntie actually suggested it and i think we might go and see his mum and dad ash's mum and dad afterwards because you usually see them on a saturday so yeah that is the plan we have been home from holiday for a week now and I'm finally caught up on all the washing and all the unpacking and stuff like that. The car has still got stuff in it because I feel like the car, emptying the car is just like an ongoing thing. So um, yeah, I'm gonna try and do that before we leave. It's about nine now, we're gonna leave at about 10. So yeah, the boys are ready. We've had a really nice week. We went swimming with my mum on Wednesday. We saw my dad yesterday and my granddad which was really nice and the weather was rubbish yesterday but luckily it's really nice today so um yeah i'm gonna stop rambling on i'm gonna crack on but i hope you enjoy the video i hope you're having a lovely day whatever you're up to and i will take you along with us on our trail adventure we have just got here to Haberley trail like we've been through kidderminster we've been through bromsgrove all of that way and we're here aren't we it took us about an hour but the sun is shining my auntie is already here we're just waiting for my mom she's like three minutes away atlas has had a nice long nap in the car which is the dream because it doesn't mean that he, he won't need another nap now so we've put some sun cream on haven't we we've got sandals but everyone else seems to be wearing trainers and we have parked yeah like everyone's in trainers we've parked right down the end of like a muddy field so we've probably got the wrong trainers pro wrong footwear but we'll we'll see how we get on with that <laughs> with our sandals can you see your sandals in the bag <laughs> they're there babe next to you do you want to wear those or do you want to wear your green trainers What do you think? Uh oh, I, I don't know. <laughs> Is that one of Atty's? No, that one of mine. That one's yours. That one's not yours.
Um, sorry. No. Ash has just made the grass. The boys have just made the grass. It's looking good. Well done. We have had the best day today at Stowe National Trust. Oh gosh, it is seven o'clock. It's nearly quarter past seven, and the boys are usually asleep in bed by now. Um, but it's like an hour away, and we left at sort of like half four. So Atlas slept the whole time. So there's no way Atlas is going to go to bed at normal time tonight um, and Harley seems to have loads of energy so we're just kind of running them around um, and I've been doing a little bit on the stairs just corking in and nailing their little nails in. And to give you a little update on the panelling, this is us looking on the stairs. It's looking so so good. This has been a bit of a nightmare because it's not straight, it's like curvy. Um, it's looking really good. I've just been corking it all in. Hello, my loves. I hope you can see me okay. I've propped you up in like a basket in the lounge, like a toy basket. Um, but as the summer draws to a close, I thought I would just quickly show you some of the summer books that we've been loving this year. Um, we've got two sets of shelves. We've got these ones in the lounge and the ones upstairs as well. So I've kind of divided them up into themes. So these are summer themed ones. And I'm just going to get straight into it. I'll move out of the way so you can see. The first little book we've got is This Summer by Shirley Hughes. And this came as part of the preschool Hello. collection. Um, and it's just a beautiful collection of different poems and little like rhymes and illustrations. Do you want to take that back in the kitchen? Go put it in the sink for mummy. Yeah? 
and I just love like this nostalgic feel that these ones have to them I think they're absolutely gorgeous and they're lovely to read as well why don't you put that in the kitchen in the kitchen in the sink in the sink go on go put it in the sink the next one is this summer in the heat one and we've got the winter version of this i just got most of these on amazon and it's a lovely story of a little girl who waits till the summertime and then goes to see her granddad and as you can see the pictures are just stunning they're so lovely it talks all about the things you might find in nature and animals that really love the summer and animals that don't love the summer so much and the last one on this top shelf is a summer story brambly hedge and we love all of the seasons of these ones they're just so sweet it's quite a longer story so harlow will sit and listen to this he's four but atlas doesn't so much he's almost two and so for him we just look at the little pictures see what we can spot and yeah it's really sweet they get married and it's all about like the summer um so we love that one as well these are some of the first books by Gerda Muller. I think I first bought the autumn one and that nostalgic feel, that Waldorfy kind of like vibe years ago, this is kind of where, where I feel like I got into it. And I bought th that book and just absolutely fell in love with it. So this is the final one that we bought this summer um, to finish off our collection. We've got all of the seasons now. And as you can see, it's got no pictures um, and for like a younger child, like Atlas, a toddler, they love to just look and spot, yeah? Try it to her. Harlow loves to make up little stories, so like, oh, what do you think you're they're doing here? And like, yeah, he loves to kind of tell me about the pictures. And they're just really, really lovely, really sweet. Another absolute firm favorite this year, we've read pretty much every single night, is Percy's Bumpy Ride. Oh. And I wouldn't say this is particularly about summer, but it definitely has, like, it's not winter, you know? He's mowing the grass, which is something you do in the summer. And then they, they he builds this little, like, lawnmower, doesn't he? Oh, my goodness, should we open it up? <gasps> what can we see on there? Tractor! Tractor! Um, and these stories are just so lovely. They've got a lovely feel to them. They're very simple. Yeah, very, there's always a lovely lesson in there. It's all about friends and... We just, we love that one. And then the last one in our summer themed books is another Shirley Hughes, and this is Alfie Goes on Holiday. Harlow in particular, these longer ones, Harlow really, really loves. Um, and yeah, he, he loves to sit and listen to this. And it's just a little boy who goes on holiday with his nan for a few days and he makes a little friend and it's just really sweet. Nana. Nana. We read this a lot in the run up to our summer holiday and we took it with us as well to the seaside. And so it was really lovely to be able to talk about all the things we were going to do. Can I show? We were going to swim in the sea like he does and play on the sand and find rocks. And it's, yeah, very like nature based. Again, very simple. Kind of that old fashioned, simpler sort of like childhood um, feel to it. And I just think it's, yeah, they bring so much magic, I think. And it's a little boy like Carlo. So he kind of knew that it's, he could like relate to him. So I definitely think we'll be buying more of the Alfie collection, won't we? Mm. I am currently looking for an autumn themed one. We have a lot of autumn books already, but yeah, ones where I know he's loved, it's nice to just bring them through the seasons. Some on the back here, look, there's also the Dodger ones, so maybe I'll look into that, but just absolutely love Shirley Hughes. I just love it. I think I enjoy them much as the boys do. It like brings a lovely bit of calm to our morning and makes me feel nice and peaceful and helps remind me of kind of the tone I want to set for the day and their childers as a whole. So yeah, let me show you the sea themed books upstairs. So to go along with our summer theme, I chose the sea and sea animals as our sort of main focus. Harlow's obsessed with sea animals. He's obsessed with octonauts when he watches the telly. So yeah, he just loves anything sea animals. And um, this first yeah. one is your favorite, isn't yeah. it? Although Harley does really enjoy this one as well, actually. I always think that you kind of have expectations for what they're going to enjoy. Oh, bless you. And you kind of read reviews of like what other people say, like age, um suggestions but actually yeah they they kind of they do enjoy the same things so Mommy. milk milk the walrus got his milk milk you love this one don't you this is a flat one an usborn peep inside the seashore 
Um, and they did have ones of these like in the actual sea, but I thought it would be nice to, yeah, have one about the seashore. There's turtles. Oh, here you go. You hold it. Turtles. You sit there and read it with me. Turtles. Laying her eggs. The next one again is more of a younger one. As you can see, it's very well loved. We've had this for a while. And it's another lift the flap and it's just stripey. Little fish. And he goes through the sea and it's like a pop-up. Um, we actually were gifted this by a friend for Harley's birthday last year, I think. <laughs> oh, you want to see this one as well? And she very, very kindly painted um, like story stones to go alongside. So we've got like the different characters. Um, so that's a really fun one. Again with the flaps. Oh dear, careful. You just have to be careful with extra, like the little ones. Accidentally like ripping them. What other stories do we love at the moment? Like this one, Tiddler. Again, we've had this for years. I just pulled it out and put it on the shelf. Once there was a fish and his name was Tiddler. There wasn't much to look at with these plain grey scales. I know this off by heart. The story's lovely. The pictures are lovely. And once you, I feel like Julia Donaldson ones are really easy to kind of like remember because they're rhyming. Once you can remember them, look, a sharky. Um, we were telling that at the sea, like to keep him entertained. If we were walking somewhere, I would like try and remember the story as much as I could and like tell it him. Um, and he loves to, yeah, fill in the little bits he can remember. Should we move up here? Another Julia Donaldson one. Um, again, we kind of have most of her collection and they, there's always kind of one to fit the season or the theme or the holiday or something like that. And yeah, Sail on the Whale is another one. This is probably my favourite I love it so much I just think it's so peaceful and if you've seen the Julia Donaldson like little films they do they're really peaceful the audiobook we've got the snail and the whale audiobook in the car so again I know this one off my heart it was recited quite a few times on holiday and it's just really lovely for them to be able to see like things that they know they've done or they're going to do so there's even like the little lighthouses he's like oh yeah he remembers Atty remembers that you saw the boat boat and it's just relevant to what they're sort of doing at the moment and yeah it's been a really lovely way to kind of link that into when we're at home like connecting the dots for them and for them to be able to yeah like I said we talk about what we've seen and they just have time to process it then as well as it being a beautiful story lovely this big book of the blue was the first one I want to say of these books that we've got we've actually got them all now oh no I think the birds one was the first one actually because um, Harlow was obsessed with birds when he was little. He was little, but when he was like at he just loved birds. Yeah. He used the boats. Boat. And the ships and the cats. Cat. And the seagulls. Oh, a snail. Uh, uh. Wow. And the rocks. Rock. And this is a really good Mama. one for like older children as well. Because Mama. This, look! Flying fish! There's like a page on each each like different sea animals and it gives you loads of information so we don't read like if, if we if he chooses to one for bedtime we're like oh like, we just read a little bit off each page or like just pick a few pages to like really focus on we are missing a page that needs to go back in this has also been really nice propped up as the background for our nature table and it's just really lovely a little glimpse into the sea and actually here we go Although, obviously I changed them throughout the seasons, this is one that always comes out because his interest for sea animals is just always there. Beautiful whales look. So yeah, really, really lovely one. And our final one that I picked for our shelves this year. We'll still tape it back in. It's okay, you want to find the boats again. This one, he actually hasn't read too many times, but when we have, he's really enjoyed it. But it's kind of been a bit of a later one. Of the of the summer, he's reached for some of the others more. Mama. Thank you. Boats. Yeah, little yeah. boats. Yeah. But it's a really lovely story of like the little fish and all the things he sees in the sea. And again, aren't the pictures just absolutely stunning? And I know that this will last us a really long time. He will enjoy that for for quite a while, I think. And Mama. so will you. I think this will be on our shelves each year now. 
come quite a few years. And that is it. I thought I would just, I, was, I say quickly show you, it's probably taken me about 20 minutes. You want to read this one now. So now we're going to read some stories, aren't we? And I'm going to end the video here. So I really hope you've enjoyed it and that you're excited now to get into our autumn content. Some lovely activities we've got planned, some lovely baking. And yeah, I'm really excited to kind of find our rhythm now heading into the new school year. Harlow would be starting reception. So it just feels like a really nice, like fresh kind of energy. Uh, which I think we need sometimes after the end of the summer. I've, I'll talk about this more in my next video. I'm not going to ramble on. Um, but yeah, I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you're having a lovely day. And I will see you in the next one. Should we say goodbye to the camera? Bye-bye.